In the simple stoichiometric questions that we've done until this point, it was always a case of these are the quantities of reactants that we start with, what quantity of products are formed. We understand now that in chemical equilibrium we have this dynamic equilibrium in which reactants are forming products at the same time that products are forming reactants. So the reaction reaches an equilibrium where the amount of each substance present remains constant and we need to be able to do calculations to determine what those amounts are. The simplest way to do this is to draw up what is called a Schreck table. It is just an easy way of remembering that the Schreck table should have the equation at the top, the amount of substance that you start with for each reagent in the reaction, the amount that reacts, the amount that you find at equilibrium, and then the concentration. So in this example here, we were told that we start by placing six moles of calcium carbonate in a closed or sealed or isolated container, which means that we start with zero calcium oxide and zero carbon dioxide. The question then goes on to say that at equilibrium, we find that we have five moles of calcium carbonate. So this is all part of the question. And then the question asks, if there's five moles of calcium carbonate at equilibrium, what quantities of calcium oxide and carbon dioxide remain? And what is the equilibrium constant for this reaction at this temperature? So we start out by saying that if we started with six moles of calcium carbonate and ended, the equilibrium is essentially the end point here, ended with five moles, that means that we must have used up one mole of calcium carbonate in this reaction. Now we know that if we used one mole of calcium carbonate, since the ratio of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide is one to one, if we used one mole of calcium carbonate, that means that we must have formed one mole of calcium oxide. Same goes for carbon dioxide, the ratio of what we reacted to what we formed is one to one, so we used up one mole there, we will form one mole here. What this tells us is that at equilibrium, if we started with zero and added one mole, we must have one mole of calcium oxide, and the same goes for carbon dioxide, where we have one mole. And then the last point here was that the question asked, if the volume of the container is two cubic decimeters, what is the concentration of each of these? And the first thing to notice here is that calcium carbonate and calcium oxide are solids, and therefore they do not have concentrations, and their concentrations do not change. The only substance that is a gas that has a concentration is carbon dioxide. We know concentration is number of moles over the volume. We've just calculated number of moles is 1, volume is 2, concentration is 0 0.5 moles per cubic decimeter. And then finally, when calculating our equilibrium constant, it would normally be all of the products over the reactants. But once again, because solids do not have a concentration, the co equilibrium constant for this reaction is just equal to the concentration of carbon dioxide, and therefore 0 0.5. So once again, the Schreck table is just a way that we answer these questions. It is not compulsory to answer it this way. You are welcome to do it using stoichiometric calculations. This is just an easy way for us to see that we start with a certain amount. Some amount of that must be used up, which means that we end at equilibrium with this amount. And then because we know that all substances must react in a specific ratio to each other, that ratio is governed by the coefficients of each element in the reaction, we can then determine what amount of each we formed or used up, and then we can convert that into a concentration and use that to find our equilibrium constant.